That day, Question had been particularly obnoxious, so I tried to get Tan to flush Question out into space for purely scientific purposes. I explained that I wanted to see if their instruments could pick up Space Beaver screams as he tumbled violently toward the sun. which can only be described as an electronic tizzy, bordering on an electro-nervous breakdown. It then seems to send out a distress signal which causes a more complex Autobot to presently appear. At which point, Question cuts out like a mass space beaver on wheels. On two occasions, the complex Autobot attempted to follow him, but Question lost him in the jungle of the Hyborian Garden. If Question suddenly slid around the corner and ducked behind me saying, Cheese it, the heat, I know that he had done some more dumb shit. One day as we lay on the grassy slope smoking his pipe and observing the awkward antics of a couple of water monsters, Question approached me with a suggestion that we should borrow one of the saucers and do a trip. I don't know a thing about flying a saucer, says I. No sweat, just leave it to me, says he. You're not shitting. Are you sure you can handle the ship, I asked. Is bear shit brown, says he. Okay, but even if we get the ship, where would we possibly go? Would we venture out into the far reaches of space, shoot across the uncharted voids? and go where no man and space beaver has ever gone before? Nope. Then where would we go? I asked. Vegas, says Question. I couldn't help from laughing in his face at such a preposterous suggestion. Are you out of your little maggot mind, I said. I... But even you should know what to get in Vegas. You pick up a couple of bills of money, some booze, and some girls. And just how am I going to get this money? From the slot machine, says he. Do you know what the odds are against winning at the Vega slots? Not to worry. I got a gizmo to fix the machines, at which he pulled from his pouch what appeared to me to be a small claw hammer. Hey, man, that's a fucking claw hammer, I said. Tis, tis, all contraire, poor funny-faced human. What you are looking at is a specialized, synchronetic, tapered, precision cast, manually operated, metallic, percussion instrument. No shit, I said. I could have sworn that it was a cheap claw hammer. Did you uh, steal it from the Master 2 room or have it specially fashioned by the greatest technological knowledge in the universe? I asked. Nope. He said. Then where, pray tell, did you get it from? I asked. The Pentagon, says he, and we both collapsed in guffaws and slobbering snickers like two maniacs. Okay, okay, uh, say I managed to get the money, the booze, and the girls. Not even yours truly would all of my suave persuasion could convince a chick to mess around with a space beaver. No problem, says he. How so, says I. Did you ever try to walk home from the moon, says he, and once again we cracked up.